What's going on Diablo 2 fans? This is Debrunski and today we're going to re-roll rare items 50 times using 300 perfect skulls in Diablo 2. Now, if you don't know why rare diadems are special or what the re-rolling recipe is, I'm going to cover that. Then I'll go over all 50 re-rolls and then we'll wrap things up by looking at the top three uh, rare diadems that I rolled. Uh, fingers crossed that I got something really good and it's not all just Chersey junk because I'm predicting a lot of Chersey junk comments on this video. Uh, and as always, timestamps will be in the pinned comment below. So if you want to skip around to the video, feel free to do that. But guys, let's take a look at what I re-rolled. Fingers crossed. So what makes diadems or rare circlets in general so valuable in Diablo 2? Well, it's because these circlets are able to rule certain prefixes and suffixes that you can't normally get on other magic or rare helmets. Now, the odds of dropping or gambling that perfect circlet and or diadem with all the right prefixes and suffixes is extremely rare, but it does happen and it's why they are some of the most highly sought after and expensive items in online trade in Diablo 2. Now, here are a few examples of some really godly diadems from Battle.net, courtesy of Discord member Jonah. Now, in all honesty, you probably have a better chance of getting struck by lightning than coming across a diadem like this, but I wanted to give you guys an idea of what a top tier rare can look like. So now that we have an idea about why diadems are so valuable, let's take a look at the rerolling recipe and in particular why rare diadems are so important in relation to the recipe. The recipe to reroll any rare including a rare diadem is pretty straightforward. Six perfect skulls plus a rare item results in a lower quality rare item of the same type. Now this is where rare diadems are so unique. Even the lowest quality rare diadem can still roll any prefix or suffix. So basically in layman's terms you can re-roll a diadem infinite amount of times and it still has a chance to roll powerful mods like 30 faster run walk, 20 faster cast rate, 2 open sockets, 2 to class skills, plus life, plus strength, uh, resistances, etc. You get the idea. Now I've left a link in the description of the video if you want to refer to the Ariad Summit to see all the different types of prefixes and suffixes that can roll on rare diadems. All right, so with the recipe covered, let's take a look at my 50 rerolls and hope that I wind up with something worth using. And one last thing that I should really note, guys, is that it is far more efficient to gamble for nice rare circlets than it is to reroll diadems with perfect skulls, but I wanted to make this video regardless. So let's take a look at what I rerolled.
So if you guys watched all the rerolls, you'll know that I didn't really get anything that good, but let's recap the top three kind of cool or just about made it rare diadems. Number three, Corpse Visage. This was an okay diadem for the Sorceress, but sadly it's not as good as Shaco. The two to Sorceress skills and plus strength and all of resistances is nice, but honestly it needs something more like faster cast rate and two open sockets for it to be a really valuable diadem for the Sorceress. Number 2. Havoc Diadem. 2 to Barbarian skills, 53 to attack rating, 6 life stolen per hit, huge boost to life and resistances. An overall solid diadem, but it's honestly inferior to the relatively easy to find Barbarian class helmet Ariat's face. And finally, number 1. Rune Visage. This was an okay diadem that came up just short of being really nice in my opinion. 1 to Amazon skills, a huge bonus to strength and life, as well as modest cold life and fire res with a huge boost to poison res. If this diadem had rolled 2 to Amazon skills with FCR and faster run walk, it could have been a really nice diadem to pair with something like a J mod for a Javazon. Well guys, there you have it. That was like five months worth of collecting perfect skulls for this video. The diadems were obviously not the greatest, but I mean, getting the diadems like I showed you to start, they're honestly like a one in a million shot. So I wasn't uh, banking on getting something like that. But anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Kind of a different uh video in the sense that it wasn't crafting it was re-rolling so uh yeah if you guys didn't agree with my top three picks or you thought that i missed one you thought there was a better one uh please let me know in the comment section below uh, and if you could throw a like on this video and consider subscribing if you're new to my diablo 2 youtube channel i'd really appreciate that i post uh new weekly content and i stream once or twice a week so you have that to constantly look forward to anyways guys thank you so much hope you have a great day and i'll see you on my next diablo 2 uh, video or my next uh, diablo 2 stream. Have a good one.